It's dark, like pitch black. Where am I? Oh, was there a power outage? Where's the circuit breaker? But why am I glowing like I've been splashed with fluorescent paint and stuck under a black light? W whatever. Hello? Is anyone here? Can I walk around? <laughs> Don't blame me if I start to collect rings floating by the ground. But ew, who knows what I could step in? It could be something like ABC gum. Oh, should I just wait for more text boxes to pop up? Jeez, I am bored. Whose message am I waiting for anyway? I apologize for the delay. Have you been here long? Whoa, a voice. I hear a voice. Delay for what? My soul to go to heaven? N no, I don't want to die yet. Please, stop being so confused. I did not intend to scare you with my words. I am Istwar, a tome. You have fallen to the world below Celestia. I am reaching out to you to ask a favor. A uh, t t t tomb I knew it. I'm so dead. What do I want on my tombstone, right? Uh, what world below? Below what? Below hell? Please, Neptune, take a deep breath. You have not died. You have merely fallen unconscious. Then, Ms. Heavenly Voice, how do you know my name? I know you are in doubt, but I am Istoire. The tome that has assisted the goddesses of Celestia for generations. I stand for the world's everything, and the world is my everything. There is nothing I do not know. Plus, I created you. Of course I know your name. So, you like, gave birth to me or whatever. You're my mom. You got kids? I see. Do... do not make it sound like that. I created... Not birth. Why do you have such a disappointed tone? I understand this is a new sensation for you. I have been apart from you all for ages, locked away from this world. Oh, okay, gotcha. So my dad locked you up and ran away with me soon after I was born? You are taking this in an entirely inappropriate direction. I clearly said it is not like that. I created you and the other three CPUs with the former goddess. That was, however, a dire error. I only wish to end the tragedy caused by my own mistake. Please, help me. Shut up! Oh, crackers, did I break something? Where am I? My room? Oh, you're up. Good morning, sleepyhead. Well, good afternoon, technically. Um, this isn't my room, huh? Is it yours? Why am I tucked into your bed so snugly? Well, let's see. It all happened last night. I was looking up into the sky and saw a shooting star. That was you. I was a shooting star? Are you yanking my hoodie strings? I fell from the sky? I'm pretty sure. I followed you to the ground with my eyes and you definitely slammed into the earth like a spear. I pulled you from the ground you peer so elegantly and carried you to my bed since you were passed out. All by yourself? That's cool! Thanks! You're a lot stronger than you look. I attend a nursing school. Transporting limp bodies is part of our training, so I'm used to it. My name is Kampa! Um... Oh, I'm Neptune. Kampa, huh? Then should I call you Com... Uh, whatever. <laughs> Kampa's fine. It's nice to meet you, Ne... Nepe... Nepta... Na pelvis, na tumor. Oh, is it confusing you? Okay, then you can call.
me Neptuna, Nep Nep, Nippermint, or something else. <laughs> okay, then I pick Nep Nep. It's nice to meet you, Nep Nep. By the by, I noticed you're all beat up everywhere. Allow me to take a look real quick. Oh, yeah, I am kind of scraped up, huh? Thanks, nurse in training. I am trusting you with this important task. Sure, but I've just started. And I'm not too savvy. I get bandages all tangled up. Your injuries aren't bad, but the scratches need disinfecting. After that, I'll wrap you up. It might sting a little, but hang in there. How much bandage should I use? A little? A lot? Hmm. Use it all up. Wrap me up good so it doesn't come loose. Besides, it's a waste if they don't last. Okay, then I'll just use what I have. Please let me know if it's too tight. This way. That way. Loop it over. Trip over it! Ha! There! Uh, oh, this is way too tight! I'm gonna snap! Can't breathe! Can't make more comments! Nap nap? Did I do it too tight after all? Please get a hold of yourself! I'll unwrap you right! Give me now. Put them in my hands and I'll do it myself. <clears throat> By the way, I was thinking while you were wrapping me in bondages, where am I? They're bandages! We're in the central city of Planetune. Planet... Tune? Hmm, okay. I remember someone mentioning the world below. Yes, that's absolutely correct. This is one of the major landmasses beneath Celestia. One of the landmasses? So there are several? Why, yes. There are four major landmasses floating around. Sometimes they come close to one another and drift away. Remember? Nope, not at all. Planet Tune, land masses, <laughs> rings no bells for me. Maybe you're suffering from amnesia. I've never seen a case in person. How original! Maybe you bumped your head. Isn't there medication or something for that? Amnesia. It's usually a temporary thing. I'm sure you'll begin to recall things eventually. My grandpa always said, Fancy may kill or cure. Get some sleep, take it easy, and you'll be better in no time. Get some sleep? I feel like someone asked me to do something while I was unconscious. Yeah, someone was crying out for help in my dream. In your dream? Then it's not real. Oh, you never know. It was so weird. I bet you someone far away was like, and sent me a telepathic message, you know? It's possible. Actually, many places, Planetude included, are being threatened by more and more monsters lately. Military powers failed to keep them from appearing. We can only defend ourselves and keep them at bay now. Then, 
there must be a boss generating all these monsters somewhere. I bet my mission is to go defeat that boss and save the world! You may be right about a boss, but nobody has seen or heard anything like that. How will you find it? This is irrational, dangerous, and absolutely impossible! Nobody's gonna beat the boss if we just sit here. Someone's gotta take initiative, you know? That's me! Plus, I can't ignore this once I've noticed it. Haven't you heard, strike while the iron's hot? I believe Grandpa did have a saying like that. Yes, that's right. I wanted to be a nurse to save people. So, why would I save the injured, but not those being threatened by monsters? How impolite of me! Nap nap, I'm not the strongest, but I'll help! Two is better than one! You will? Don't you have school? You're not in the middle of summer vacation or anything, right? Right, but... The city's population has been declining due to monsters eating them. Students are leaving school out of fear, so it's closed down for now. Classes are suspended until further notice. Oh, that sucks, but that means you can camp out, right? Goody, let's go find the dungeon where the boss is waiting. instead of come with me. Hmm. But I really wanted to go with you. Huh? What are those ant-like blobs? Girls? A pair of girly girls? Wow, my experience as a faller speaks volumes. It's awesome that I can make them out from way up here. Or is it my eyesight that's awesome? If I were up to that, would I be able to count at baseball stitches? Wait, I will not care about Seven sages are the villains this time around. Were you really listening? Are you sure you understand? Why so skeptical? I definitely said, oh, I see. Okay, then paraphrase what I just went over with you. Ooh, here comes a new challenger. I'll gladly face you, player two. Those seven whatevers don't like CPUs ruling the nations and whine a lot and say bad stuff, right? So far, so good. Therefore, I conclude that those folks are the bad guys. Ta-da! Flawless victory! You cut out the whole second half! It's not that simple! I knew you weren't listening to me! Aw, okay. You got me. Huh? Nephi gave the wrong answer? <sighs> Don't tell me you weren't aware of this either. Um, that one girl who goes around saying mean things is one of them, right? I don't like her. And you clearly only get about half of the situation, too. Fine, I'll explain again. I might even talk longer this time, so make a sandwich and listen. Aw, really? Can't we, like, mash through the boring stuff with the X button? I'm not very good at mashing. I prefer the skip function. So let's press the square button. You will listen to my plot-advancing lecture! 
Fire! Got it! Okay. Okay. The Seven Sages are a mysterious group consisting of seven key members. Their platform advocates proper laws and claims that CPUs aren't needed to rule a nation. Of course, because they believe that, they're against the very existence of CPUs. Ever since Plutia created Planetune, they've caused trouble many times. Their operations are said to have started ten years ago. Any more info is vague and pretty sparse. As for the sages themselves, only one is known to appear in public. It's even rumored they're involved in criminal activities behind the scenes, but there's no proof. And that thing I said about them having some connection to Louis? Yeah, that's just another rumor. But apparently, a good number of people agree with their line of thought. So it's not 100% certain whether they're truly evil or not. So, that was a pretty amazing summary. Did you get all that? Uh... Mm. Ugh, you're both a waste of carbon. Whatever. I suddenly feel exhausted. Ah! Clooty, did you hear that? Noir just gave up on us. Aw, don't give up on us. You two are so noisy. Just look up the stupid Netpedia entry later. Noir, you're such an ice queen. And your explanations are so roundabout and hard to understand. That's a fact. It's easier on our noggins to call them the bad guys. The, uh, um, the seven nutmegs. The seven nutmegs are evil. Seven sages? Jeez, how could you forget that name so fast? Get bunk! I found you! Whoa, who's this broad? Flutie, we have a visitor. And speak of the tiny devil. It's that meanie. Uh-huh. So you're the one. Hmm. I see. Hmm. Well, what's with that look? I feel like you're undressing me with your eyeballs. Wait, they're targeting Neptune? In that case, sorry, but I don't feel like getting in their way. Oh, me too. Sorry, Nappy. What? You two are gonna leave my party? Come on, don't do that. I guess you could say she's a teen, but her body isn't developed, so... Little girl it is! Inconceivable. A girl smaller than me just called me a little girl? And to think they would allow such a young and naive little girl to be a CPU! It's unjust! It's brutish! It violates international law! I'll never forgive Platitude! Yikes! Now she's got rabies or something. Ugh, lame. Why do I gotta sit and nod while a little girl makes fun of me? I've never seen her before. Did you just call me a little girl? You're that little girl, you little girl! If that's your killer comeback, you're definitely a little girl. Plus, you said it to me first. And yet, your comebacks are just as childish. I'll not stand for this, you brutish little wench! Oh, you want to challenge me to a duel? I won't lose in a cat fight. Ow! You hit me! <laughs> this little poopy piggy girl hit me! <laughs> You're no match for me. You need about a hundred years to improve those little girl insults. But all you do is call me little girl. Ooh, I think Neppy is winning. More like her opponent is embarrassingly weak. Instead of playing along, she just smacked her in the mouth. No way I could have done that. I, I can't believe it. You're so cruel to a little girl. That's illegal. I won't forget this. You just admitted to being a little girl. I guess I win. Ah, no, no, no! Uh, that was just... <laughs> I knew you were just a little baby girly girl. I 
win, I win, I am the coolest. Nappy, that might have been a bit too much gloating. She's so immature, celebrating her victory over a child like that. Are you two gonna fight me too? You abandoned me, so I had to fight back. I had no choice. Now, now, don't cry. Be a good little girl. Jeez, looks like Neptune had her claws out. There's a blood smear. Poor little thing. Huh? Why do I feel ostrich-sized? Don't touch me! I won't be cared for by my enemies. Ouchies! Don't get an attitude. We're just trying to help. Shut your stupid mouth! So, Neptune, I see you've shown your true colors. You're more like a caged animal, not a CPU. You are a terrible role model for this little girl. You started it. But I'm not a little girl. You came here, made a big fuss over nothing, and then tossed around these false accusations. Shut up! I'm on a mission to protect every single child in the whole wide world. That means I am in the right. Anyone who opposes me is a big pedophile and a gross fetishist. Um, worst logic ever. More importantly, that woman's information was correct. To think you can stand up to me. But weren't you the one who started bawling? It was a flawless victory for Nappy. Shut up, I said! Well, I saw all that I needed to. You're the new CPU here, right? Ooh, has my awesome reputation reached even this little girl who I've never seen before? I'm flattered, but if I get too famous, my private life will... <gasps> too much charisma is a curse. She's not the CPU. What? Uh, Mar, don't be such a downer. She totally thought that I was the CPU. But she's right. You can't even transform. What? Oh, not you too, Plutie. You shouldn't crush a poor little girl's dreams like that. You're not the CPU? Then how did I lose? Because you're weak. Maybe because you're weak. Less bark and bite than a doggy. You didn't catch it? Neptune. Neptune. I won't forget that name. Oh, hang on, kid. I think it's rude to adults when you demand a name without giving your own. <laughs> Fine. I'll only tell you once, so listen good. I am the Seven Sages Idol and Advertising Executive. You may call me Agnes. Introductory graphic text? What the heck, developers? I didn't get one when I appeared. I can't wait to talk all about this at the next Seven Sages meeting. If we seriously tried, we could take this nation over in a second. Prepare yourselves! And she ran away. It's so not fair that she gets a cool logo. She's just some weak kid. But seriously? The Seven Sages accepted someone that weak? Maybe they're all pushovers. Well, if you assume they're all like that girl, sure. But we don't know anything about the others. It's so good you're here, Nappy. Every other time she comes, that girl teases me over and over. Sometimes idiots are useful because they don't understand insults. Every tool has its use. It was nothing. Wait, was that even a compliment, Noir? Sure, why not? We'll depend on you when she shows up to get her revenge. Please protect us, Nappy. Uh, um, okay. It's nice to be relied on, but I feel like I'm getting taken advantage of. Wow, 
Wow, that's a huge hole right there. Nep nep, does this make you remember anything? Um, nep nep? Hmm. Hmm. Huh? I can't remember a thing. Papa, are you sure I was stuck here? Yes. You fell from the skies like a shooting star and landed right here. Like a shooting star cutting through the night, right? That's right. What's the matter, Kompa? Why'd you raise your voice? Just struck me, but there could be a clue around here somewhere. Nep, nep did you lose anything by chance? Maybe an idea or anything? I wish, but, you know, I can't remember anything, so... Hey, wait! I, I do remember something I'm missing. Really? What is it? Well, that's obvious. Obvious? My memory. Um, wasn't that funny? Nep, nep. I don't think now is the time to be fooling around. Wait, what? I thought you were joking when you asked me if I remembered. Joking aside, let's look for some clues. What's that sound? I have a bad feeling about this. What? The ground! It's crumbling! We're falling! Uh, ouch! I didn't expect that. They really changed the story with this remake. Wait a minute. Where's Kompa? Kompa! Where are you? Are you alright? Yes, see. I think I'm okay. Phew. It would have been a disaster if you lost your memory, too. Where are we, anyway? I think we're beneath the forest. This place feels a bit weird. Yeah. I'm getting bad vibes from this place. What's this? Kompa, can you take a look? Do you know what it is? I don't know. I've never seen something like this before. I know! It must be a medal to change into items with a king somewhere. What? Where's that event flag-inducing growl coming from? and censored! I'm not being censored! I'm just off screen, Nep Nep! Oh, you know fan service. Well, time to get a bit more serious now. Don't worry, I'll save you. Take this! What the? Wait, who just commented on my attack? I'm sorry. I didn't want to surprise you, but I couldn't stop myself. Hmm? I've heard that voice before. Have we met? I am Histoire. I thought I explained this when I was in your dream, Neptune. Oh, yeah! Ms. Heavenly Voice from my dream! Wait, that was real? Um, Nep Nep, a little help here, pretty please. Oh, right! I need to help Kompa! Miss Heavenly Voice, can you help? No, but if you use your hard drive divinity, things should be okay. Hard drive what? I lost my memory, so do you mind taking it step by step? I see. That explains why the conversation was all over the last time. Um, if I use that hard drive thingy, I can save Kompa, right? Well, yes. But now, I'm not sure you can use your hard drive divinity. Well, I'll go beyond the impossible and kick reason to the curb! So, please, lend me a hand. I want to save my friend, Kompa. I will force run hard drive divinity from you. Are you ready? Ready and willing! Neptune. May your power arise. Here 
going? Is this really me? Yes, this is your true form, Neptune. Nap, nap. Wow, you transformed! The power, it's flowing from within. There's no way I can lose with this. Just wait, Kampa. I'll save you. What is that huge thing? Is the last boss already appearing? We didn't get blown to the end of the game or something, did we? I don't know who or what that thing is either. But it's the one responsible for turning this city and the entire world into a wasteland. Is this the one behind all these weird cracks and rifts we've been seeing everywhere? Right. And it doesn't just destroy cities. It destroys the earth and sky as well. You're going to try and fight that? That's exactly right. I've been fighting with it for a long time. Something that giant is just too much. Please, Neptune, tell her to back down. All righty. Now I'm getting all fired up, too. Huh? Our opponent's bigger than a skyscraper? That's perfect! In fact, bring it on! Neptune! Neptune, you're on the protag! There's no way I'll lose! I appreciate the gesture, Neptune, but this fight is mine and mine alone. It's useless to try and stop me. I staunchly refuse to listen to people all the time. I do what I want, and I want to help. Please be reasonable, you two! If you think about it sensibly, there's no way you could win against something that gigantic! Sorry to interject, but as a CPU, it's my sworn duty to deliver justice upon the one responsible for ruining this city. Huh? Hang on a sec. Did you just say you're a CPU? Oh yeah, I guess I hadn't mentioned that yet. Well, that doesn't really matter right now. This place is about to become a battlefield. If you're not prepared to get your hands dirty, then run. Far away. Uzume, let's get out of here together. I'm sure we can devise a strategy to defeat it that doesn't involve battling it head-on, so... No can do. A pack of monsters like the ones we just fought are advancing along with that giant. I gotta stop him here, no matter what. I need to create a window for the others to escape. That giant thing looks terrible enough, but a pack of monsters too? Also, what others? Well then, with courage like that, I'm even more pumped to help you out, Uzume. Let's get ready to rumble! You girls aren't ready for a fight like this, and you're just gonna hold me back. Like I said, just hurry up and get out of here already. I don't wanna... Run away! No, no, no. If I ran away now, who's gonna be here to help you? I'm not leaving you here to die. We're doing this together. Hmm? Besides, even if we really can't hold our own, we can at least buy you some more time. Neptune... Uh, okay, you're right. Neptune, if you're going to fight, then I will too. Ugh, what freaking ever! You two are so dense. Fine then. Listen, if we're gonna be fighting this thing together, then know this. We fight to win. Yep, yeah! Then... At the very least, why don't we find a place where we can heal your wounds? From the looks of things, that giant won't head here immediately. We have some time. It's better to challenge it when we're at our best. You're not wrong. My base is close by, so let's head there. Hey, Big Nepsy, what's that giant broken share crystal all the way over there? That's the crystallization of the share energy that was stored within Uzume's body when she was sealed away. You guys probably don't know, but all the share crystals scattered around the world are shards of this thing. Crosty? Yo, what's up? I see. That's why they were scattered in so many places. That's why Uzume never died. Even though the world forgot her, she still had all this share energy to draw from. Then, if we use that thing right... If you're here, Krusty, I bet you were sent to get in our way. Bingo. But man, she's a real slave driver. Even though I'm fine just with recording history, she really pushes me around. 
If she's so freaking worried about this thing, then she should just stay here and protect it herself. Don't you guys think so too? Krusty, you can't keep doing this. Stop helping Kurume and Kokuboshi. Both dimensions are going to be destroyed. Even if you tell me that now. You've read me, so you know too, right? You know how many beginning and ends of worlds I've recorded up until now. Also, I don't have a damn clue about what's going on because you put me in that stupid little specimen book of yours. Of course I did. It'd be fine if you were just recording history, but it's absolutely wrong to muck it up just to make things interesting. Now that I know that, I really can't let you out. Why, you... You were always saying my ability and dimension hopping was too fun to let me go, but that's how you really feel, isn't it? Ugh. <laughs> that's not true at all! You're way too frickin' obvious! Now that I think about it, you sealing me away and sabotaging Affimax? You were just pretending to be a ditz about it! What? what could you possibly be talking about? Damn it all! You're playing the part of the clown this whole time! I can't believe you! You hadn't caught on? She's happy-go-lucky and always spouts nonsensical meta-jokes, but Neptune's always... Hold it! Ugh. Pipe down! We're not even talking to you! Why are you yelling over there like an asshole? I'm the protagonist of this game, and we're fairly close to the climax, aren't we? But then, why is the bigger me standing out more than I am? Hasn't my narrative been super weak since being in Heart Dimension? I got beat, captured, even though I was in next form. I've barely had screen time. And just when I got saved and the party split, I thought I was the main of the story. Nope. It's all about Uzume and Bigger Me. This is protagonist fraud at this point. I'll take this to court, I'll sue, and I'll win. Calm down, Nip. You were the protagonist for the hyper-dimension part of the story. She's right. Since you're the protagonist, you should be as tolerant as a goddess. Or at least a mother. But even though I'm the protag and face of this series, I get the cold shoulder in terms of face time and ability. And, and, and... It seems Nepsy might fall again. I don't have the confidence to pull her out of the whirlpool of delusion this time. Ah, freaking damn it! What the hell is wrong with all of you? Point is, I finally have a chance to record some interest in history. I'm not gonna let you assholes get in the way. Come, Dark White! <laughs> a dark CPU now is nothing. No matter how much you power them up, we have the sharing field. That's right, we don't have to fear this thing when Uzume is with us. Indeed. Wait. Ooh? Ooh, what's wrong, Bert? Oh, it's just that dark CPU. For some reason, it seems to have a smaller chest than the one created from my power. Is it possibly because Blonde's power was used as a base? To think she'd be copied even there. <laughs> but it's bigger than Blonde's. They seem to have added some shape and volume. Blonde's is just as flat as a plank. It'd look pretty stick thin if it were just as flat too, so maybe they gave it more volume. Or possibly, Kurume felt pity for Blonde's pathetic state and has shown some mercy towards her dark CPU minions. Ah! I won't be made a fool of, you bastards! That Kurume asshole, too! I'm getting pissed off just looking at it! Uzume, the sharing field! Hurry it up! R right! Shading fields activate! She 
she's so scared she's completely fumbling her words. Well, that's the normal response when you're not used to, um, lawn. Everyone, I brought Uzume with me. I hear you guys found this place especially for me. I couldn't thank you enough. Oh, it's Miss Uzume, too. Miss Uzume is here. We've been waiting, Miss Uzume. Oh, Miss Uzume thanked us, Boo. I'm so happy. What the snap? There are so many Dalgoos. And they're speaking all friendly-like, too. Oh, gosh. Seeing them warm up to Uzume like this is gonna make it a lot harder to fight them back home. So, my friends, where's this sheer crystal that you discovered? It's right over here, Lou! Oh, please take a look! Oh, man, you guys weren't playing around! This is definitely a sheer crystal! Its size is... remarkable. Uzume, we can finally proceed. I know, I can feel it. The amount of share energy crystallized in this thing is amazing. Everyone, thank you so much. With this, I'll finally defeat the giant. But why bother? Please, allow me to put an immediate end to your delusions. What's going on? No way! Why did it show up now of all times? Is it targeting Uzume or the Share Crystal? Doesn't matter. Little do these idiots know, this actually is gonna work out in my favor. I'll crush the giant, here and now! Nepsy, Gearzy, lend me a hand! Leave it to us! Yeah! Hey, you big idiot! This ends today! I've crafted this technique especially to defeat you! Prepare to die! Well, I can't have you do that now, can I? What? Huh? It can't be! How can this be possible? <gasps> Are you friggin' kidding me? Come on! Dang it! Who's out there? We literally just found that thing! <laughs> You've earned it, brat! Who the hell are you? I suppose this is the first time we've met like this. Very well then. I will tell you. I am called R4. Along with the dark CPU, I am the one who will bring about the end of you and your world. R4? Oh, I see you've heard of my power. She an acquaintance or what? Honestly, she's like one of those annoying relatives you don't like too much because she's always criticizing or picking fights with you. Ahem. Let me explain to those in the audience new to the series. We fought this hero boss lady character called R4 like a billion times in the older games and anime releases. She's so boring. I seriously don't even want to look at our snore right now. She's not about to make us enter a boss fight, is she? Ugh, I'm so over it. Big sis, maybe you should be less meta in explaining it so the players get a more immersive, believable experience. But, but in our world, R4 should have perished. And in the other dimension, I thought she had reformed completely. Which means that this R4 must be different from the ones we've seen. It seems like you brainiacs were hatching a fairly thoughtful scheme with that crystal. It's too bad. Now, Dark CPU, annihilate every last one of these insolent brats! Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh, the flip phone! This kind of map-wide weapon is a rule violation! Where's your...
your sense of sportsmanship. <laughs> Prattle on all you'd like. Your end is nearing by the second. No need to hold back, Dark Purple. Thoroughly grind them into dust. Help me! Damn it! If only I had the strength to deploy! If I had more power, I could destroy it! But even if I can't win, at the very least, Nepsi and the others! Hey, Nepsi and Gearzy, take Goobs and everyone else and run! Musume, what are you talking about? I'm the only one it's after. I'll be the distraction while you get everyone out of here! No! I don't wanna! I'm not leaving you behind, Musume! This is my fight! This doesn't even concern you! I got you all involved in my fight! My problem! I can't let you die because of that! Well, we don't want you to die either. And now that we're friends, this does concern us. Consider us involved. I feel the same way as Neptune. I know we just met, but I could never abandon a friend in need. Hey, come on. The way you two are talking makes it sound like I won't make it. You're worried about it though, right? The share crystal's broken. You have no power. You look totally desperate. What? Oh, jeez. With a face like that, it's even more impossible for us to leave you behind. But we don't have enough share crystals to even think about flipping this situation around. Our plan failed completely. Don't sweat it, pal. We don't even need those crystals. We're gonna beat this thing up the old-fashioned way. Neptune, what do you mean by that? No way. This is share energy? I feel power flowing through me! What? What is this? Huh? Could it be? It's over, Goo! We're so dead! Don't give up, Goo! Uzume! She's gonna... She's gonna definitely do something big! That's right! She always managed to come out on top before, and today we have two more friends helping her! Goo! Is it you guys? I understand now. The faith of the Dogus is flowing into us as share energy. Yes, that's it! What's this? But aren't the Dagu's monsters? How can this be? It's never happened before. Let's not sweat the small stuff like logic or plot development. Let's just beat this fool up. Let's go, little nap. of yours CPU purple art I have arrived I'm purple sister Nepgear don't underestimate me just because I'm a CPU candidate you twerps were CPUs Wh what was that was that a memory but why would I see that now of all times whatever it doesn't matter right now if we have the share energy, then there's only one thing to do. Goops, we'll put your wishes to good use. Transform! And then, Shearing Field, activate! Shearing Field, activate! What the hell is going on? This 
field. This is incredible. What is this power? The plan is a huge success. We captured it within the field. I knew you told us we could contain it, but I didn't expect this space to be created. Is this due to the power of the Shimmer energy? This is a sub-dimension created by Uzume's ability. It uses Shimmer energy as a medium. Uzume's ability? What is this field? Why can't I gather my strength? Sit down and shut that old lady mouth of yours up! We're totally gonna beat up this silly giant you're so proud of! Okay, here we go! The first and final, real and true fight! Yes! The repair was successful! That's great! You girls can go home to your own world! Yeah, but it's kinda hard to celebrate knowing there's probably piles of work to deal with back home. Hmm... I can already hear Isti's eternal, boring, luxury voice in my head. Would it happen to sound like this? That is so spot on, Uzume! Wow! That sounds just like... Wait... Isti? Why are we on a call with her? I'm sorry, Neptune. Since I just finished repairs, I thought to call Eastwar right away. I answered this call, holding the highest hopes for you both to return quickly. But hearing these complaints from Neptune is just too much. So, if you so desire, Neptune may return to tend to business over here. And, Neptune, you may very well stay in that world for eternity. Aw, oh, come on, Isti. I was only joking. You already know that's not how I feel. It was just one of those nep jokes all my fans online are into these days. A nep joke? Do you mean, um... Um, it doesn't matter. You must return at once, so I may lecture you. What? Now that the device has been repaired, we must solve our energy dilemma. Yeah, I was thinking, maybe we can use this. Isn't that... a share crystal? Uzume, that's a sweet gesture, but we couldn't possibly dream of using such a precious item. That's right. Without those, how are you gonna transform, huh? We can't take them. It's fine. I was able to defeat the giant thanks to you girls, and now all I got left is to crush that purple hag who likes to pop up everywhere. And, although it's not a huge amount, I'm able to receive shares from monsters now, so I don't even need these anymore. If I do need more someday, I can always just go search for some. It's okay, right, Umio? Yes, absolutely. I agree with Uzume. Thank you, Uzume. We're never gonna forget you. Yeah, neither will I. Seriously, I won't ever forget you, Nepsi. Nepgear, are you ready? Enter the coordinates I specify into the end gear. I will take care of the controls for the transfer afterwards. Um, Istwar, could you wait for us to return a little bit longer? What? What are you saying? Please, do not tell me Neptune's propensity for slacking off has influenced you. Our only salvation is your earnestness, Nepgear. So if you take on Neptune's traits, I do not know if I could ever face our past CPUs again. Wait up, am I being dissed right now? No, I just want to finish helping Uzume before I return home. Uzume! I'm here for you until the end. So once we defeat R4 and ensure everyone's safety here, why don't you come back with us to our world? My sister will be there, and there are so many games and food to try out. You can even check out all my gadgets. Hmm. I get it. That's what this is about. You sisters have been so kind. You care so much about someone like me, a complete stranger. Thank you, Gearzy. Then... Does this mean you'll come? I'm really happy for the sentiment, but I'm sorry. I just can't go with you there. B 
But why? It's far too lonely to stay in a world like this completely by yourself. Gearzy, this is just how it is, and you have no idea what'll happen if you stay. You gotta get home while you still can. I don't... What the hell's this noise? These sounds... They appear to be coming from outside. <laughs> Monsters! Destroy this building! They ruined my plans, and I will ruin their escape! Damn! I knew it was you! Dang it! Uzume and Nep Jr. were having a touching, plot-developing moment! And you had to go break it up. That's supposed to be my job, dummy. I was getting some of my best jokes ready to make it so embarrassing for them. Do you think the nickname Seriousness Breaker just came by chance? No. I earned this name and I'm not losing it to you, Arbor. Who the hell is Arbor? And I don't even need your ridiculous second name. Then, what's your objective? You trying to steal my spot as the protagonist? Hmm. Mega Dimension Destructor R4. Well, now that you mention it, taking your spotlight sounds like a brilliant idea. Ha! Hey, did you hear that, Nep Jr.? Mega Dimension Destructor R4? You shouldn't laugh, Neptune! Not when she's so serious! But, I mean, using the name Destructor? It's so freaking lame! I believe her intentions may have been Destroyer, but who's to say, really? Uh, shut up! Always finding a way to make a mockery of me! You will not be forgiven, brats! You're so cute when you're all red and embarrassed, Arfie! You should leave her be, big sis. The last thing you want to do is cross the line with a crazy person. Actually, she's right. She's clearly not thinking straight to be dressing like that at her age. Even more so than youngsters these days. We have no idea what she'll do if she snaps. We must treat her... delicately. You fools continue to gossip about my impeccable fashion sense! My original plan was only to cast you all into the depths of despair. But that's changed. I will end you here and now! <laughs> cast into the depths of despair. The depths of despair, she says. What is this? A freshman poetry class? I've never seen anyone outside a game use that phrase. What a riot! Nepsi's instigations are also at fault. And it seems her resistance to being appropriately serious is a problem as well. I won't allow any further insults, you scum! Go, my monsters! Crush those dwarves and take down the entire building! strength has increased, we should think about our party organization before we search for the other treasures. Hey, Neptune! Is it just me, or is Vert more... enthusiastic than usual? Well, she has a cute little target named Bouquet. She's in an online game, after all. Oh, but I the main character, just so you know. <laughs> Did you see the title? Cyber Dimension Neptunia. It's not Verdia for a reason, you know. <laughs> well, in any case, Vert, it's nice of you to play with us. I'm sure we can learn a few things from you in this place. It is my pleasure, my dear Nepgear. I really am quite happy to be playing with you. And please, do not be afraid to ask any questions along the way. Thank you. I've actually never tried any mage classes before, so I'll take any advice on using a character like this. Of course. Oh, Bouquet is quite lovely, but you really are adorable, Nepgear. Goodness. 
Nope, she's not hiding her obsession at all. You know, Vern, you've been clinging on to Netgear ever since we got here. Uh-oh, Puny, are you jealous? Yeah, are you jealous, Uni? Question mark. What? Why would I be jealous? Oh, oh, oh a love triangle, huh? <laughs> Wait. I'll be fighting for Nepgear too, so does that make this a love rumbus? It's not like that at all! Are you forgetting about me? Her older sister? There's no way I'm losing Uni to Vert. You too, Noir? Wow, we a precarious, passionate pentagon! <laughs> With any luck. We might even get boosted to an octagon. <laughs> I think I'd stop there, though, huh? In any case, we all possess different classes, so we should aim to balance our party according to our skills and expertise. Uh, hey! Why did you change the subject as soon as I chimed in? Well, trial and error without fear of failure is very important. All right, so after we organize our parties, let's head out and look for the next sacred treasure. There she is! Uzume is over there! Nice find, me. Your eyesight's great, you being me and all. Ah, oh, you're just flattering me. I'm not as good as my CPU self. Come on, you're too humble for being me. This is when you gotta say, cause I'm the protagonist. Eat that! <laughs> like I would. Ooh, that sounds pretty fun. Hey, how about this? Let's say it together. Ready? One, two... Cause we're the protagonist. Eat that! I feel my sanity collapsing! is more important right now than the Neptunes messing around. But what can we possibly say to console her? I cannot find the words. Then please, allow me to go alone. I've been with Uzume for a long time, and as I'm not a CPU, it may be easier for her to listen to me. Damn it! What the hell is this? In the past, I nearly destroyed Hyperdimension, earned the entire world's hatred, then got sealed away. On top of that, I'm nothing but scraps that broke off from the sealed me. And in the end, I gotta defeat myself, or the two dimensions will fuse. But if I disappear, so will the Zero Dimension, and me. I don't want this anymore. I don't want to think of anything anymore. Why? Why is it always Uzume? Why is it me? Uzume just wanted to grant everyone's dreams and live happily together. Uzume can't... can't decide. Uzume's a CPU. It's her job to protect everyone in Zero Dimension. What does she do? Someone, tell her! Someone answer her! No, it hurts. She wants to die. Let her die. She doesn't want to think. Oh, someone save her. Save me! Save her, Romeo! Did you call for me, Uzume? Romeo? Why are you here? It's not like you to return to your normal speech on your own. Romeo? Romeo! <laughs> Don't you already know? I would follow you for a lifetime. My deepest wish is to see your dreams come true and to be next to you when they do. Even if you end up in a nightmare, Uzume, people do eventually wake from nightmares, so please, let's wake up together. <laughs> Are you all right now? Yeah, I showed you something real pathetic. But thanks to you, I feel a lot better. Uzume, if my thoughts are correct, you may be a piece of your conscience that broke away from your soul, infected with delusion, hatred. I'm... my conscience? 
yin and yang. With all things in the universe, there are these two opposite sides. The human mind is no exception. After you left, Krar told us how the reports we found with Girzi were the records of you that were erased from hyperdimension. It is true that the actions of those who did not think well of you were written there. However, the voices of those who were anxious for you were much larger in volume. You didn't try to destroy the world because of your hatred. You learned how you couldn't control your powers, and for the sake of the world, you willingly chose to be sealed away. I had no idea the reports contained that. I cannot know what's held in the memories you've regained, but don't be fooled by them. Memories are ambiguous and fleeting. The passage of time can change your interpretation for better or worse. You mustn't look at the past with disdain. Mm. Uzume, from today onwards, you will be working with this man on a grassroots publicity campaign. It's a pleasure to work with you. Tune's amazing! Uzume is so cute! I have a favor to ask, everyone. If you see our CPU pulling a pull wagon, please call to her with Lady Uzume! Lady Uzume! Lady Uzume! I can't move into Planet Tune anymore? No, please! Let me live in Planet Tune! I'm. Sorry, everyone. Guess it can't be helped. Lady Uzume. No. Uzume. Let's make this a wonderful nation. Lady Uzume's illusion powers went out of control again. Is there no way to save Uzume? Lady Uzume's assassination apparently ended in failure. Again, huh? If we don't do something soon, the nation will be destroyed. Thank goodness. She was such a good girl, too. Why did it end up like this? Uzume! Uzume! Watch out! Ugh. I'm so glad. You're safe, Uzume. Don't cry. I'm here for you. My deepest wish is to see your dreams come true. And to be with you on the day that they do. So as long as you're... safe. So you truly wish to be sealed. I understand. And I apologize. No matter if it takes tens, hundreds of years, I will find a way to seal your powers. Until then, it will be but a short parting. I remember it now, Umio. The world was this kind to me. Objection! I object to those memories! We had such a nice mood going. What is the matter so suddenly? It isn't sudden! You both tried to let it go by, but there was an important plot point there! Plot point? Do you mean East War? Not that. It's the words of the gentleman you seem close to in your flashback. My deepest wish is to see your dreams come true and to be with you on the day that they do. They're exactly the same as Umio's lines. This means that Umio equals the man that showed up in the flashback then, right? Umio protected Uzume and lost his life, 
But because of the regret and emotions they both had, he reincarnated. I think that's right. That plot could work. Not only that, but it scores high points and a tragic romance from him not being human. This is definitely going to be the plot for my next Rookie Novelist Award entry. I know our series is prolific, but I never thought we'd see pure love in a game I star in. As a protagonist, how careless of me. At this rate, the only option I have is to roast him and eat him off the main cast. Yeah, it'd be totally unacceptable if, through a fluke, the series goes off the rails and the next game stars a young Umio in some harem title. Calm down, you guys! Why are you guys here? And how the hell do you know about my flashback? We came along with Umio, and we were here from the very beginning, actually. Then... You heard me cry, too? Yep, we heard it all as clear as day. Oh, and I'm a little late, but here's a handkerchief. Gah! By the way, your flashback was being projected behind you the entire time, Uzume. I mean, I thought the whole heart dimension plot point was confusing and bothersome, but it's pretty entertaining for times like these. No way! You got to peek into our minds, so it's fair and square now! Just kill me! Ooh! I'm beat! We're at the end, everybody! It all began when we were defeated by Gold Third at the exhibition matches. Please listen to the following messages from Nepgear and others. They're for you! Thank you so much for playing! I ended up showing a little bit of my naughty side, but... Wait! What the goodness is this script? I'm not supposed to be that kind of character! Get off it, Nepgear! Just read your lines and stop messing around! Let's see, where are my lines? Oh, okay, here we go. <clears throat> so, champ, was I cute enough for ya? Uh, um... Oh, Uni, don't you get caught up in Neptune's ridiculousness! The main game isn't even over yet! Huh? Wait, so this script... I thought we were doing the thank you for playing bit that we always do at the end! Weren't we? No! Of course not! This is the second time in the series Neptune's pulled this stupid prank. She has a talent for going wild the moment I take my eyes off of her. By the way, about that hyper-share crystal, how did you create it? Oh, about that. Use these to create a share crystal. These are... shards of a golden crystal? The gold crystal, unlike the CPUs, it cannot absorb the power of faith. Instead, the golden summits were gathering faith and converting it into gold third energy. The crystal's role was to supply it to us. Ah, so that's the structure in which you were able to gain power. Did Bisha not tell you this? No, she did not. Even though there are only shards left, they contain a considerable amount of energy inside. If you use these to create a share crystal, they should receive other share power that is normally not available to them. Is that truly possible? Yes, it is. Esha is very knowledgeable when it comes to crystals. I understand that is a strange concept, so I'll let you decide whether or not to believe me. No, I understand. Thank you. I believe you, Esha. Then it's decided. We'll be using all of your gold crystals as well. I don't mind. Although, like Esha, all I have left are broken shards of mine. I also only have broken shards. But if it will give Noir strength, then please, use them. And what about you, Bisha? Your crystal is still in good shape, yes? Of course! Okay then, please, hand it over. However, like us, your power as Gold Third will weaken. Honestly, you run the risk of losing it. 
in the worst case scenario completely. Thank you for your interest. This gold crystal will be 10 billion credits, please. Uh huh? Come on! I was just joking! It's a joke! I owe Nepnep a debt so huge that no matter how much I pay her back, I'll never make it up. Compared to that, the power of Gold Third is chump change, especially my own. All right, then we've decided. Did you call, Estra? What's that weird thing? I'm here too! Ah! Go immediately to Planet Tune's Gold Summit and take the Gold Crystal there. You're both up to the task, right? Leave it to us! Yes, it's no problem at all! And that is what happened. I see. So everyone in Gold Third gave up the source of their strength just for us. Please, don't spend too much time worrying about it. Also, my power was for Noir's sake. So please, Noir, think of your new power as me and use it preciously. <laughs> my sister's power is going to be more trouble to deal with than everyone else's. as well. You and I are strangers and no longer affiliated. Therefore, you've no connection to this dispute. The responsibility is solely mine. As such, I know nothing of you. Ever since the summer we met, our fates have been the same. I cannot turn the other way and let you take all the blame, General. Oh, why don't you listen to what I say? A friendship between men, how wonderful! I never in my wildest dreams thought I could see such a fiery friendship in this series. I thought I saw Afimojas as the dominant type, but in regards to Steemax, he crumples and becomes submissive. Yes, this could work! I must record this conversation and show it to the friends in my Dojin circle. Hey! They cause the world so much trouble, so this much is within an acceptable range. <laughs> what the hell is going on? It is an emergency, everyone. An emergency situation. Hey, it's really shocking if you just randomly blare sirens like this. My ears are ringing. This alarm's for emergencies, right? What happened? It has just been discovered moments ago, but a giant hole has opened up in Game Industry Sky. A giant hole? But you can't open a hole in the sky! Can you? What could possibly be happening now? is so incredibly nice. I'd love to eat some pudding in a place like this. <laughs> huh? We're still rolling? Oh! We gotta do all that stuff we do after someone finishes the game! Ahem. Welcome to the series customary thank you for playing corner. Yippee! You made it! Thanks so much for playing the game. 
even if the story's done, our adventure will continue. There's no end to MMOs after all. I hope you keep playing with us and with other players from far away, too. Now, a word from our sponsor. Just kidding. <laughs> but I'm gonna have everyone else say something now. First up, go ahead, Noir. Um, thank you for going on this adventure with us. You didn't neglect my character out there, right? You know, I'd actually like to talk to you about my outfit sometime. Unis too. Maybe you'd have some ideas on other styles we could try out. This isn't a conversation about cosplay or anything, okay? I might be getting a new outfit when the next game comes out, so yeah! Alright, next is you, Vlon. Please go ahead. I never know what to say during these things. Okay, here goes. Thanks for playing! It was my first time playing a support character, and it was so new to me. I learned a lot during our travels, and now I have a ton to write about. Once I'm finished writing my new novel, I'd like to give you the first copy. I want you to be the first to read it. Anyway, Vert's up next. <laughs> Understood. Oh, before I say my portion, please, would you come sit down here and share some tea with me? I was able to meet some very wonderful people thanks to you. I am very grateful. Also, having online gaming be so integral to the story was more than I could have ever asked for. How marvelous. Ah, yes. Will you pray with me at the cathedral so that there will be more installments featuring my younger sisters and me? I'm sure the next game's title will be Super Dimension Vert, so please look forward to it. Nepgear, my dear, it's your turn. Huh? What did they say about younger sisters? Um, never mind. More importantly, I have a player to thank. I know we're kind of repeating ourselves, but please, allow me to congratulate you for clearing the game. You're so cool! I usually use a ton of beam swords or launchers, but using magic was really fun, wasn't it? I feel like chants and magic spells line up pretty well with the design of programming in mechs. I'd be really happy if you kept going on adventures with Neptune and I. It would mean so much to me. Next is Uni! You ready, Uni? Go ahead! <laughs> me already? There's a lot I want to say, but I'm having trouble finding the words. It was really fun exploring a brand new world with Noir and the others. Of course, it was fun to go with you, too. But I still haven't customized my pistols as much as I'd like to, and I want to practice a lot more. So, will you please take me on more adventures soon? Really? It's a promise! Phew. I hope that was alright. I'm sure it was. Nice work, Uni. Next is Ram and Ram. Who wants to go first? Hmm. Well, you're the older sister, so you should go first, Rom. Oh, I'm nervous. Worry. Um, it was really fun playing together, wasn't it? What do you think? Hopeful. Of course it was fun. I had lots of fun. <laughs> Ram, do you want to say our congratulations together? Yeah, that's fine by me. Let's say it on the count of two, all right? One, two, thank you for playing! Oh, what a reward! Please congratulate me after this is over, you two. No. Oh, but it would be so very nice. I'll just ask them again once Blan has left. Next up is... Bouquet! What? M me too? But of course. Please, go ahead. Oh, okay. Um, thank you so much for guiding everyone here safely. You are one of the saviors of this world, too. One of the chosen ones. I would be thrilled if you continued to enjoy life in Allsgard. May the blessings of the goddesses be with you. Greetings, player. This is the Four Goddesses Online Administration. Since we have arrived at this point, I would like to say something. How in the world did you get so good at this game? 
If you ever have a chance, can you teach me? Please, I implore you. Ahem. Ooh. Okay, now then. Please continue to support Four Goddesses Online. Huh? Please warn me when you're going to switch. If the GM made an appearance, I'd like to ask for comments from the goddesses as well. <laughs> we are, of course, on standby. Well, the title of this game has four goddesses in it, so it's only natural. Come on, hurry and move the camera over here! Okay, are we all properly in the shot? I am sure you have already heard this many times so far, but allow us to tell you as well. Congratulations on completing the game. You have our infinite thanks for helping us return to this land. We only appeared in the second half of the game, but were you able to watch our battles closely? I hope you enjoyed them. I feel like we hardly got a chance to fight considering we only came during the second half. Don't you three agree? Of course. I do wish to see what other things this land has to offer as well. Yeah! The next time you go outside the city, you'll take us too, right? You could just take me if you want. What? Are you trying to leave us behind? Please don't mind her. If you would just like to go with me, that is fine too. Now, now, let us not bicker about this. Here, I will accompany the player so that it is just the two of us. Goodness, that isn't our decision, is it? Please, do as you wish, player. That is all from us. I will hand it back to Neptune now. Gotcha! Thanks a bunch. Now that all of our party members have... Whoa! Where did all these people come from? It's not every day we get to do something like this. It's alright if we say a word or two, right? I'm sure it was a lot of trouble, but good work. Just give me a call if you're ever in the city. I'd love to hear more about your adventures. I'd love it if you came to our store too. I'll prepare medicine and items for you. Come on! Ify and I will be waiting. Oh, is it okay if I go next? I'd like to say something too. I'll keep working on your weapons. There may be more powerful enemies lurking out there, right? Let's sharpen my blacksmith skills together. I'll do my best, and make lots of cute things, too. Let's accessorize with everybody, all right? If you ever wear my accessories, I'd like it if you came over to the store and showed me. Come play with P again, too. Let's all play store together. It's a promise, okay? I've been keeping up with your victories. I've been trying to show people how cool I am by playing solo, but you're just as cool as me. I'm a little sorry that I'm playing solo this time around, though. I hope we get to play together some other time. Um... <laughs> hey, Mastermind, it's totally cool for enemy characters to be a part of this, too. Give us a comment. Uh, uh. First comment. Hey, are there really any other rotten enemy characters that would just crawl out to do this? Guess not. <laughs> I have also returned briefly. You did well to defeat me, as I am Mastermind's most powerful AI. You have both my praise and my respect. Yeah, last boss checking in? Man, I am tired from that cursed bargain sale. I hope I can come visit Earth again soon. <laughs> I've no time for chit-chat. I pray for another opportunity to cross swords with an opponent like you someday. Time. Um, I'll be 
working towards a relaunch for now, so... I'd like it if you could play my game one day. Hey there! May we also have a word? Oh, Kiria! Cat Princess! It's been a while! Having stained my hands with cheats, and causing such an uproar, I truly regret my actions. I wish for you to never stray from the path. That is all I wish to say. Let us meet again, perhaps in another world. Yahoo! Player! You were really cool, Nya! Will you go adventuring with the princess who's changed her ways? P princess Even if they've reformed, I guess those two are always gonna act like that. Okay, that should be everyone, right? If we were going to include everyone, we will have to bring out the minor characters and the eggplant lady. We would not finish until sunset. You're right. We're just in time for pudding time. So let's end it here. That's all for the thank you, Corner. Please do your best and take care of us from now on. <laughs>